Hello everyone. Uh, tonight we're just going to be putting the fuel or uh, oil pump on, and I'm going to show you how to measure that connecting rod clearance that I mentioned in the last video. As you can see, I just put the oil filter adapter on. Uh, just three bolts hold that on. There's a gasket in between it. And uh, now I'm just going to show you how to measure the clearance. Now the clearance is between 6 and 20 thousandths. So just go ahead in between your two caps and just slip a feeler gauge in there and see what you get. I've already gone through and measured this, but I'm just demonstrating. 10 thousandths has a good fit there, so. But you just want to measure between all of your uh, caps here. And uh, now we're just going to put the uh, oil pump on. Um, one thing you want to do before you put your new fuel uh, oil pump on, if you're going to be getting a new one, um, oops. just remember, take a picture, take a measurement uh, to where your pickup tube and screen is located because more than likely a new oil pump isn't going to come with a new pickup tube or screen. So you just want to make a note or something to where that's located, how it's angled. But uh, I couldn't find a torque spec for these bolts. Uh, they're just the 3 8 bolt, uh, grade 5. So the torque spec for those is just, uh, I think, 33 foot pounds. So we're just going to torque it to that. And uh, one thing to note about this engine. I'm going to try and move the camera a little. You get your better view. Is uh, this oil pump uh, drive shaft, I guess you could call it, has this little, uh, these two little clips. And the shorter down, they're closer to the end, that, that part goes in into your oil pump like that. And uh, you have to install this like this. Because with those clips being there, you can't just drop this in from the top into your uh, oil pump. So you have to install it like this. And now there's two bolts, a short one and a long one. long one goes in the back because there's more material. And there's two little uh, dowel pins here, so you can't really mess it up. But uh, you definitely want to check the mating surface, the oil pump surface and the uh, cap surface. Make sure they're flat and there's no burrs or anything. Oops, there we go. Now we're seated. So I'm just going to torque these to uh, 33 foot-pounds, I believe it is. And that little drive shaft, again, it can't fall out because of those little clips on there. So I'm just going to snug this down. There's fifteen foot pounds. Twenty five foot pounds. Three. 
Okay, so that's all there really is to it. Uh, I'm going to roll this over and show you where the hole is for this drive shaft. see right there there's our drive shaft right here and it goes into the oil pump and there's just a hole in the cap right here and uh, these little clips here prevent it from sliding in as you can see so that's about all I'm gonna do for right now um, probably the next video I'll put the uh, timing chain and timing gear on and uh, work on getting this oil pan on to keep this bottom end uh, safe from any dust or dirt getting in it. But uh, that'll probably be my next video, installing the timing chain and gears and the cover. Alright, thanks for watching.